Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. And what I want to show you is how to work with art layers inside of Harmony Advanced. Now, before you totally freak out, this is actually Harmony Premium. And I'm going to rebuild this over in Harmony Advanced. And in particular, this is a dynamic uh, little lip rig here. And this was... I originally saw this uh, from Q Bum Lee, and you can check out the link in the description. And I thought it was a pretty cool thing, but I was like, okay, well, how would you do that? Uh, how would you do that same thing inside of Advanced, you know? So let me go ahead and adjust where that little pivot is. There we are. And come back down here. Mm -hmm. How would you actually build out uh, this dynamic little piece with all the layers and everything like that, um, but using your art layers. So what I want to show you is how to go about doing this over in advance. So let me jump over here real quick. And I'm just going to go ahead and start off with just a simple drawing. Now I have my colors already set up that I want to do. Want to do. Uh, so First off, let's see, we have all these different little basic colors here. So I'll start with a simple little line. Let's grab my brush tool here. A um, couple things that I noticed right off, right off the bat. Uh, if you look, my color area this is highlighted. I have to actually click over here in the camera view to get that highlighted. Also, if you look, my art layers, there's only line art and color art. So this is what will happen the first time you open up Advanced. So I need to make some adjustments. On a Mac, you'd be Harmony Advanced and come down to Preferences. On a PC, you'd be Edit Preferences. And what I want to do first off is under the General tab, this little button, focus on mouse center. That way, each time I move my cursor around, that area is gonna be active. Lastly, I need to go to, believe it is my advanced tab. On the advanced tab, support overlay and underlay arts. All right, now when you're working in this little area, make sure you hit return or click the okay button or these will not commit. So now if you look, I've got OLCU, overlay, line art, color art, underlay. Also, if I move my cursor now down to the timeline, the timeline now has that little red line around it. Okay, so this is better. Uh, I'm gonna turn my animate button off because I like to rig with my animate button off. It's just a personal preference. So what I will do is I'm going to build up uh, everything from the back all the way up to the front. So even though this is one drawing layer, what I'll do is come down and select the underlay. And I'm going to grab my pencil tool. And what I want to do is pretty much make no stroke whatsoever. So I'll simply press the K key so I can see what the heck I'm doing. And I'm just going to make a quick little tongue. All right. And then I can grab my paint bucket. Go find my colors, fill that in. Looks good. And then I will go to the next layer and I'm going to draw out some teeth. So just do a quick little line here, line there, line there, and line there. All right, so that's the bottom teeth. All right, grab the teeth color, fill that in, go to the next layer, and we'll do the top teeth. Now mind you, we still have all of this happening in one drawing layer. All right, make sure I'm pressing the K key so I can see what's going on. All 
All right, looks good. And we'll fill that in. And last but not least, uh, what I'm gonna do is go to the very top, and this is going to be what I wanna do for the lips. Now, I thought I made a lip line, let's see. I'm going to add an additional color here. I'm gonna click and double click on this to get a darker color. I'll call this lip line. All right, so for the lip line, I'm actually going to use my brush tool. I'm gonna to hold down my O key to click and drag this out a little bit larger. And just kind of draw out a simple little, reasonable little shape there. And last but not least, I'm going to grab my pencil tool again. Press K key. I'll undo that last one. Just give it a nice little outline there. And so I'll go and find the actual color that I want, fill that in. Okay, so Ah, one last thing we're gonna do. We have to do the back of the mouth, so we'll fill that in. So right now this looks a little odd because this is all in one layer, but if we come over here to the drawing tab, it shows you this is what's on the overlay layer. Hey, there are the upper teeth right there. You can kind of see them. There are the lower teeth, and there's the tongue. All right, so if we go back to the camera view, um, it's just showing all of those. So what I want to do, and again, we don't have a node view here. So I'm going to do a couple of things. One, make sure nothing's selected. I'll simply press the letter K. And I'm going to make several clones of this particular layer. All right, so I'm at least going to export and just expand that exposure out to frame 10, and I'll right click here, and I'm gonna clone the selected layer, not duplicate, but clone the selected layer, drawings and timing. And I'm gonna do this about two other times. Okay, and now what I'll do is, since these are clones, I can actually control what's happening on each layer. So I'm gonna double click on the first one and I'm gonna call this one lips. And under drawing, I can turn off the other layers. So there's overlay, line art. Remember line art and color art, those were our teeth. Underlay was our tongue. So turn that off. Go to this next one. All right, and these are the top teeth. So I'm going to turn off the top one and the lower two there. And this is our bottom teeth. Okay. And last but not least, here's our top. All right, so we'll turn off everything except that one. Okay, so you'll note I'm gonna turn off all of these individually. So if I turn on the tongue layer, hey, there's the tongue. Bottom teeth, there that is. Top teeth, looking good. And the lips. All right, we're doing good so far. What we need to do next, though, is we're going to um, add a little more control here. So what I want to do, I need to do a lips mask. So I'm going to clone this one as well. And this one I'm going to actually call mask because this is where we're going to introduce some filters. 
So for the mask, what I need to do is add a color override. Now, if we are in Harmony Premium, I could say only have this one particular color show up. All right. So just to show you what's going on, I'm going to solo this layer. And I'm going to come down here and come down to Effects and go to Color Override. All right. So I will double click here. And what I have going on right now is I can, let's go take the lip line. I'll put that over there. And we'll also take the color of the lips and put this over here. Now, again, we don't have the option of just making that particular color, but we can come in here and say, make this color not visible. Okay, so that first one, make the color not visible. All of a sudden you saw the lip line go away. And here, we'll also make that color not visible. So the only thing that's visible is the back of the mouth there. So we're gonna use this as a mask for the teeth and tongue. All right, so we'll click good. All right, but we'll click okay. Um, now, I'm going to grab the top teeth, bottom teeth, and the tongue, and I want to go ahead and group the selection. Okay? And what I'll do from here is this group, I want to add in a cutter. So if I open this, make sure I'm going to do this right. I'm going to take that out one more time. Make sure I select this and add in our cutter, there we go. So it's gonna grab the entire group. And for the mask, I had to click on the plus sign to get this. For the mat to show up, I wanna drag color override and down here. And if you look, it's cut out everything other than what I need. So I can simply double click on the cutter, and click on inverted. Then I'll click close. So what's happened is it's cut around that particular area, okay? So now I'm going to turn off my solos here. All right, so there's our mask. And I wanna go ahead and make the lips mask uh, the child of the lips, because that way they're going to be working together. So let's drag that under there. And last but not least, this top set of lips here, we're going to send that to the back. So if I hold on my Option key, Alt on PC, and then press my up arrow, I just sent that to the back as far as the Z index is concerned. Now, I could have actually done a little bit better with the tongue there. There's that tongue, let's drag you down a little bit there. All right, now, uh, last but not least, we are going to make sure that we are animating with our pegs and not with the actual artwork. So, just going in here turning these off, and this is under controls, by the way. What this basically means is I'm not gonna be able to animate um, unless I add a peg. And I'm not gonna do the whole thing today, I'm just gonna show you the uh, mouth part, or the lips part there, rather. Okay, so on the lips here, I can go ahead and add in a peg Zoom out, uh, and I want to adjust where our pivot point is. Let's place it right up there at the top. Looks good. And then if I come over here with my transform, there we go. All right, so I could go in as well and, so we can rotate this a little bit. Yeah, because everything is actually the mask as well as the mouth are moving together. Looks good there. Um, I can go in and add a peg to each one of these. So the peg for the tongue. Go 
go ahead and place that there. And yeah, bottom teeth. Let's add a peg there. And so on and so on. So that is how you can go in and create some pretty awesome little um, mouths here. And this is kind of that little mouth that everybody and their mother seems to be using these days. So let's go here. Looks good. All right, and there you have it. So yeah, whoops, don't wanna move the top teeth. You don't move the top teeth. Okay. So the cool part about this is you can actually have uh, maybe the next drawing here. You can start doing your drawing subs and that's where you can actually move where the tongue and everything is on each one of those, where the teeth are, so you can actually have your different mouth positions. So this is this little trick of playing with the art layers. We went in, added a color override, and this is different than premium because we did have to go in and say, hey, ignore these colors instead of singling out one color. Well, instead of singling out one color, we said ignore these other colors. And then on top of that, we took the color override and used that as an actual mask. So it all worked out together. So this has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. And letting you all know, if you haven't heard, we are doing classes now. We're actually doing some live online classes. So these aren't pre-recorded. So we're doing uh, little small classes. And we have our first uh, Harmony Advanced class coming up this week, this coming Saturday. So on the 26th, I believe. Uh, so yeah, it's only a few seats available. So we're gonna be doing some rigging like uh, the piece here, as well as doing uh, full body rigs and also doing that same little dynamic trick, but we're gonna be doing it with eyes. So. Anyway, this has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. Remember, make art, not excuses. So go make something.